Hey, I'm back. I'm Kirsten. I'm the creative director for Underpinnings Lingerie. And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, building a lingerie wardrobe. Um, before I get started, a lot of people have asked about the painting in the back of uh, my room. And it's by local Louisville artist Matt McDole. Um, you can check his stuff out on Instagram. He's the best. Um, right, so we have people coming in to the store a lot who are trying to get just like a nice foundation for what they need in their lingerie drawer. And it can be really overwhelming. And obviously the store is full of beautiful things. You probably want all of them. I know I do. Um, and it's really hard to separate the difference between need and want. So let's talk about what makes um, a great lingerie drawer. A great lingerie drawer is going to have um, the stuff you live your life in, your everyday stuff, your special occasion pieces that make you feel like a million dollars. Um, you'll need your foundation garments and then your loungewear um, or sleepwear, however you want to think of it. Um, okay, so you're all set if you have the following. You need three everyday bras. Um, I think black and nude are a good start there and we have so many shades of nude in the store. So if you're looking at this and you're thinking like, yeah, right, that's not what color my skin is, don't worry. Um, these are some nice pieces from Simone Perel, from uh, Prima Donna and from Panache. Um, I personally like a more natural silhouette. So most of my everyday bras are unlined or um, like a pieced cup like this. Uh, but if you like something a little more conservative, a t-shirt bra with memory foam cups is a perfect everyday choice. So I personally wear more dark colors than light, um, so I have a lot more black than I have nude, but if you have one or two nudes, one or two black, you're in good shape. You also need seven pairs of just good everyday underwear. Um, that way you're not doing laundry every five minutes, right? So I have these two pairs from Panache. I like to buy, every time I buy a bra, I buy two pairs of underwear to go with it, but you do you. I got this one, I've got these Marley's Deckers, I've got this Simone Perel, and I'm all set. Um, again, that way, laundry comes once a week. Moving on from there, you need, I think, a one black bra with pretty straps. Um, I think this Panache piece, which is called the Clara, is perfect because it's, a little bit decorative, but it's still really supportive, and it's nice for when you're wearing a wide neck shirt so that if your bra straps show, you're not really embarrassed by it um, or you don't feel like it's something you need to hide. So just a pretty thing to have. So that's pretty much going to cover our everyday pieces uh, for bras and underwear. After that, I think you should have two at least fun sets. You can have as many as you want. Two fun sets that make you feel great. So I personally love this Curvy Kate um, Surrender set. It's just so pretty. Um, and it's great for a fuller busted woman who's, um, you know, a little heavier up top, pretty rounded, uh, which is me. And then I have this beautiful Simone Perel set. Um, it's a couple seasons old now, so we don't stock it anymore. Sorry, I'm not doing a great job showing it to you. But um, I just, I put it on and I just feel really, I don't know, sexy and confident underneath whatever I'm wearing. Um, in quarantine, I think you've seen me in my videos wearing pretty much exclusively sweatshirts. So uh, it's a nice secret between you and yourself. I think it's also nice to have a really good hanging around bra. Um, you know, I always say that it's like not the kind of thing I would necessarily go to give a big presentation in, but um, I'd wear it to the airport, I'd wear it to the grocery store, you know, kind of casual. I think this Cosabella set, uh, the Curvy Sweetie, is perfect for that because you're not really sacrificing support uh, for comfort, but it's also not quite as, as structured as something you might wear every day. Cool. If you wear pantyhose to work or you like the look of tights, I think it's just have as many as you need per days of the week. Um, I like the stuff that we have in our shop. It's Studio Collants, which is very elegant but still affordable. Um, if you don't wear hose ever, get one pair of thigh highs uh, to wear with your garter belt for when you want to have a special occasion. But otherwise, I think you can skip it. Uh, that's kind of a thing of the past. Uh, you'll never hear me recommend anybody buy knee highs. Okay, great. Moving on to the stuff you will need to kind of live your life. Um, we do not stock these in store, but I think they're a really important thing for everyone to have. These are silk long underwear. I get mine at LL Bean and I think they're the greatest thing in the world. It's a featherweight long underwear. It feels great. Um, and even if you live somewhere, you know, that doesn't get that cold, like Louisville, 
you might go on vacation somewhere. Um, you might decide you want to take up skiing. I don't know why, but you might. Um, or you might just have a really cold winter. It's good to have. Um, and these are really like comfy, cozy. They fit next to the skin and they don't make you sweat, which is great. Um, the next thing I think you probably need are your foundation garments. Um, so I think it's great to have a strapless bra that really supports you, lifts you up, makes you feel great. I work in lingerie, so I have access to a lot of pieces, but if you're going to pick, I would pick nude. I have black and nude. This one is prima donna. This one's curvy Kate and they're both convertible. So we could, we could make it uh, one shoulder. I could make it a halter neck. I could make it a true strapless, whatever. Um, yeah, there's no reason to buy a thousand of those different multi-way bras. Just buy one that has really good options with your straps. Great. Also, um, I think it's really important to have one just nude camisole that fits you nicely. Um, this one is honestly from Kohl's from a million years ago, and it's the only one of these I've ever found. Uh, they're really, they're really tricky to track down. So if you find one, keep it forever is the life lesson on that one. This is nice when you're just wearing something that's, you know, a little more sheer. Uh, it gives you some options for stuff you can wear to work, which is nice, without compromising the silhouette of the piece. Um, on to slips. Mine are mostly vintage, um, but we do have some in the store that would fit the bill. I think it's nice to have a half slip and a full slip just for those sheer dresses. Um, it just looks nice and I think it's kind of special to have these ones with the vintage lace and you can pick them up for a song at almost any uh, vintage clothing store. Lastly, I think it's nice to have a slip that is um, also a piece of shapewear. I don't really like to call it shapewear because I think that's just really negative. Your shape is great. I think you look amazing. Um, but it is nice to have something to sort of smooth the bumps and lumps here and there, um, especially if you're wearing something really, really body conscious. Uh, even the best fit bra or underwear is going to have a little bit of a, a hint of something. Um, so it's nice to have something that can just smooth that out. We have some great options from Simone Perel that aren't too constricting, um, but are still really elegant. And um, I don't know, it, you wouldn't mind someone seeing you in them either, which I think is important. Um, if you are like me, and you like a pretty uh, vintage silhouette, uh, I think it's great to have one big fluffy crinoline. If this is not your look, you can skip it. I just really think it's fun and um, it's a big part of my everyday wardrobe in more normal times. Um, I also have a beautiful corset that I picked up uh, from Age of Provocateur a thousand years ago. Sometimes I wear it as a top, not gonna lie to you. Um, but again, if you don't like that look, forget it. Um, with a, a corset, if you're gonna buy one, I really recommend you get fit for one. Uh, we aren't offering that yet in the store, but we hope to soon. Um, and you always wanna get something with metal boning rather than plastic boning because that will give you some support. You will also need, I think, um, one lacy or silky camisole, maybe two if you really like that look. Um, for a low cut top that you still want to wear, uh, I don't know, to temple or to meet your boyfriend's parents. Um, it's pretty, it adds a little visual interest as well, which is great. Um, this one's from Tia Lynn and it's this nice stretchy, uh, lace that she's so good at and I really like it. We also have some silkier options if you'd rather more lace than silk. Um, and some more cotton options if you like something really plain. All right. And last but not least, I think you need some good loungewear. Um, I think everyone should have two robes, one that's truly cozy. Um, mine is in the wash right now, but it's like a big sweatshirt and I really love it. I got it at the Ace Hotel in London and it's my favorite thing. Um, and then I think having a silky robe like this one from Samantha Chang, it just makes me feel so elegant when I'm getting ready and um, just lends a real touch of something special. But I get it that silk is really spendy, so if that's something that's out of your budget, we have some beautiful options from Eye Collection that are uh, a little less so. And I think you will really enjoy them, and it gives you the same effect for a lot less money. Then I think you probably should have a pair of truly cozy pajamas. Um, I have these bedhead pajamas in another life. I was a certified sommelier, so I think these are really fun and great. Um, and I can hang out in these all day. They feel wonderful but they're presentable enough that if I order Domino's, I can answer the door and not be embarrassed uh, by my ratty college t-shirt and sweatpants. 
And then I think everyone should have a cute little set to sleep in. Um, this is a little bralette and tap short from Raya Collection from a few seasons ago that I really love. They do a different one every year, um, so there's no reason to get too bummed that that one's gone. <laughs> and it's just fun. It makes you feel really put together. It makes you feel really like sexy and elegant. There's something like very um, old Hollywood about waking up in the morning and being like, oh yeah, that's me in my beautiful satin tap short set. Maybe it's just me, but I really like it. And last but not least, um, you need something to take care of it. I know we've talked about soak before, but you need a weighted detergent that's really, really gentle to take care of your gentlest, uh, prettiest, most intimate things. Um, I really like soak, but if you have one that you are really attached to, that works too. And then um, I think it's really good to have a sachet of lavender. My friend Jenny made me this one, but we sell them in the store for just $5. Um, it makes everything smell great. And it also can help keep um, bugs away because they don't really love the smell of lavender or cedar. So just an idea if you think you might be someone who has moths in their house. Uh, this is not an option. It's an essential. So I hope that helps. Um, as you start to build your lingerie wardrobe, we're here to help you. Call and make an appointment. We're opening up again um, after the sort of coronavirus shutdown on the 26th of May. And we'd be happy to help you find the right thing uh, for every occasion, whether you're just buying your first pieces, or you're looking to expand what you have. If you're a lingerie lover, if you're a newbie, we're happy to help you. And we will see you back here on Monday. I'm gonna do a um, Ask Me Anything. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or um, message us on Facebook, Instagram, or via email at hello at underpinningslingerie.com. I'll see you next Monday.